Good. I love it. So I want to talk to you guys a little bit about what this is and help to address a lot of the sensationalism that is out there. Um, before I begin this, I always want to preface this. that uh, When you hear stuff on the internet, there is always a hidden agenda behind it. Obviously, when people are trying to garner followers on the internet, they're in a constant state of generating content. And some of the content that gets the most reaction is the stuff that is the most sensational with no facts behind it. So today, I put the bow tie on because I'm going to speak in absolute facts. And I'll let you guys decipher with this. These are C of A's that we're going to go through. So it's going to be a little bit of a science lesson because a lot of this is scientific jargon that we the late, average layperson doesn't understand, and I want to explain it. And I also want to explain how people will prey on the ability for people to not completely understand what CVAs are to, in essence, sensationalize it to push their own agenda. So I'm going to share my screen here. What uh, recently transpired is a person uh, said, you know, isogenic protein has exceptionally high amounts. I think it's lead. I think he said nine times the amount of lead. And then at the end, obviously, he endorses a particular protein as one that is clean. Now, ironically, this company posts a C of A on their website. It's one C of A for a particular flavor that represents all of their proteins. Um, and so I want to just kind of call out a few things here. Here's the one here on the left. It was Planet Proteins. Uh, and they have their lead, arsenic, cadmium, mercury. Now, you'll notice some things here, micro-quality labs, very renowned, reputable lab. Additionally, you see their amounts of lead, arsenic, and cadmium. Now, this is not by surprise. In fact, I put out an Instagram post saying everything has heavy metal contamination. Take a deep breath. Congratulations, you just inhaled heavy metals. And what this is, is our body has the ability to remove heavy metals when they are, above, or when they are below a certain amount. Heavy metals aren't toxic. Their levels can be when they exceed a certain amount. Now, here we have, here is one, or I picked, because they only put one C of A on of a particular flavor, I found one. This is a plant-based. This is the whole blend plant-based one. And you'll notice, here's the lead, 0 0.004 parts per million. Look at theirs, 0 0.042 parts per million. So you'd quickly say, Oh my goodness, isogenics is 10 times less. Yeah, you could say that. But I also want to be completely honest and transparent in this. You are dealing with values that are so close to zero. It's easy to get multiples of 10. Very easy. In fact, you look at the arsenic, we're higher in the arsenic. I bet you the next time we do one, it'll be lower. You are so close to zero. This is the equivalent of somebody saying they have nine pennies and you have one penny when that amount is so small, that amount of money is so small, that, but what they'll do to sensationalize it is say, I have nine times the amount you have. When in actuality, the value is so close to zero, it's easy to get those multipliers. Both of these proteins are very clean, right? And this is what's interesting, right? So if we go here, the FDA doesn't have set standards for heavy metals, right? They're kind of ambiguous in that with respect to the FDA. However, there are agencies out there that have very high standards, one of them being the Canadian Natural Health Product Standard. So they've come in and they have said, here is the amount that we deem to be exceptionally safe. And these are among the highest standards in the world. So you can see how the isogenics, I just pulled that one C of A, is 20 times less than lead. Uh, six times less, or four and a half times less than arsenic, cadmium. 10 times less, mercury, 60 times less, right? Don't question my math, I'm doing this, here it is. And you can see how you are so far at the end of the spectrum with both of these that it's easy to get that. Now, here's where people are also kind of being interesting, right? To where they'll say, well, you didn't test for pesticides. My goodness, people, we absolutely test for pesticides. This isn't a duplicate of five different pages. This is one test going over what appears to be about a hundred different pesticides and they were all came back not detected right and so what you have here is the inability for people to understand or hopefully they just under misunderstand how to read a c of a and what these levels actually mean i hate to think that people are maliciously trying 
to misinform individuals for followers, likes, or social media posts. What this is, is I hope this completely dispels any of the rumors out there with respect to heavy metals or pesticides. Now, in a moment of transparency myself, I also understand the frustrations that you guys wish you would have these C of A's. I understand that. What I have right here are the C of A's for one chocolate shake. And so you can imagine just the logistical challenges of making them. Now that's one skew. Isogenix has globally 828 skews. You imagine the challenges of just this for one SKU across 823 of making those available for individuals to share and to distribute. Isogenix has set internal standards to make sure that the products are safe. We adhere to exceptionally high standards to do so. Are there going to be, as I like to call, bottom feeders out there that like to stir up dirt? You know, guys notice people that feed at the bottom or fish that feed at the bottom of the ocean don't have eyes. They have no vision. The only way they feed is by stirring up dirt and waiting for something to move, right? We aren't going to move to that, right? We aren't in a position of having to react. But I do understand the frustration that you guys have with that. So I just got the green light. What we are going to do is I'm going to spend the next, it's going to take some time, give me at least six months to work and make these products, say you base, available for our products, available online. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's going to take some time because, as you can imagine, this isn't something that we just UPS overnight to people to help fulfill their demands. Additionally, we're not going to react to the sensationalism and the fear mongers that are out there. We are absolutely in a position of complete confidence with our products to the utmost standard. But we will make it to be more transparent for you guys so that what we can do is prevent these bottom feeders from looking at isogenics as a way to pray. No longer, we will address the issue. And I hope you guys learn a little bit about these C of A's. There's many other things we test on the C of A's. We, have, we identify the nutrient levels. We make sure obviously there's no E. coli or microbial contaminations. There's a variety of different things that we test for each and every product. And so there's great complexities behind these. We'll make them available, but there's also gonna be a little bit of education that comes with each and every one of these so that when people, bottom feeders, want to ultimately sensationalize this for their followings, for their comments or their likes, or to help promote another product, you guys will be empowered to properly defend.